What's good, YouTube? Nappy Porn82 here, back again, once again. And today, people, today, I have an update video for you guys, one that I've actually been talking about for a little while now. And uh, if you've been on the channel for probably a couple months back, then you've seen one of these update videos before. Um, really, I do update videos. It's it's more like it's more. I, I say this in all the update videos just to get everyone up to speed on what they are. It's more like like a pit stop, like a checkpoint for the channel to to really just step back and look at everything that's happened so far, see where we're going and you know what's happening right now that's really what I use the checkpoint for um, the checkpoint for the update for and uh, it's also a, a time for one-on-one -on -one feedback this this is your chance to give your input in the channel because I say this in every update video as well this is not just my channel it's our channel because without you guys without all your support and, and you know showing up to the streams all the support in the videos every day and all that stuff you know the, the channel wouldn't be what it is so it's not just my channel, it's our channel. So I do these videos really just to, to get everyone on the same page with where we're going uh, with, with the channel in uh, the future ahead and all that stuff. So um, before we even get started into that, thank you. Thank you all for 5k subs. Thank you all for 6k subs. That is ridiculous. Thank you all so much. I can't, I can't, like I got a big ass grin on my face right now because I can't even express in words how grateful that I am for all the support, all the subscribers, all, just, just everything. Just everything. Thank you all so much for it. Um, it's, I, I don't know, I don't know. Let's, let's just move on. I don't know, I don't know. I just, I'm just, I'm very, very appreciative of it. I'm very appreciative of all the support and just everything, period, so. Um, but update videos. My update videos are notoriously long. I try to keep them as short as I can, but really I just empty everything that's in my head, everything that's in my mind into this video. And uh, it's they, they seem to work. A lot of people enjoy them, and I get a lot of feedback from you guys. So um, this might be an 18, 19, 20 minute long video of me just talking about the channel and all that stuff. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So update video. Um, we just finished Black and White. Literally two days ago. We just finished Black and White on the channel. That is probably the biggest undertaking that I've ever had on the channel before. Um, not just time-wise, but episode-wise. Because I think before that, Land of Lost World went for like 32 or 33 episodes or something like that. But uh, Black and White went for 40 episodes. And we ended it right on 40. So my little minor OCD is happy with that because we ended it on a nice even number. Uh, but that series is, I think a lot of you guys subscribe because of that. A lot of you guys came from Kristen's channel, and uh, I appreciate it. Um, black and White 2. Black 2 and White 2. People hate it when I say that, when I say Black and White 2. Why do I have to say Black 2 and White 2? If I say Black and White 2, you should just get it that I mean Black and White. Black 2 and White 2. Shit. Black 2 and White 2 is going to start on Kristen's channel this week, probably. Um, that was the idea the entire time. When Chris and I sat down to do Black and White, you know, we said, okay, we'll do Black and White on your channel. And then when we're done, we'll do Black and White 2 on my channel. That's what she said. So, everyone that's been asking for Black 2 and White 2, that's already been decided months back. Like, this past December is when we decided to do that. So, um, Black 2 and White 2 is going to start on her channel this month. Um, but like I said, it's it's wrapped up. It was a great series. I really enjoyed it. I've never played fifth gen before, so it was a, it was a new experience for me. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of fifth gen. Um, just from what I've experienced in Black and White, it wasn't the world's greatest game to me. I think I enjoyed a couple previous generations better, but I haven't seen all fifth gen yet because I have to play Black Two and White Two as well to to get all of that. Um, well, we did Black and White. I played through Black, and she played through White. This time, I'm going to be playing through White 2, and she's going to be playing through Black 2. So we're going to swap it up like that. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. She says that I'm going to really enjoy the storyline a lot more in this one than in the in the first Black and White. So we'll see. But um, like I said, it should definitely be starting this week. So um, if you're not subscribed to Kristen, make sure you check out her link in the description. That's, that's another thing. This video is going to have... A shit ton of links in the description because I'm gonna be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. But make sure you subscribe to Kristen if you haven't already. I can't imagine anybody that's on my channel that's not. But um, if you're not, make sure you subscribe to her so you don't miss out on that. I am going to have a playlist on my channel of all the Black Two and White Two episodes. But just in case you miss it or anything, sub her up so that you'll see it. In your sub box when it goes up. Um, but but yeah, but yeah. Um, Black and White was the first Pokemon series on the channel. Soul Silver. Soul Silver. God damn. Now, you guys asked for Soul Silver. I did. I mean, I did. You did. Um, I don't know what happened with that. 
it's it's done so well. It's done so amazing. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why people thought that me playing Soul Silver was gonna be as great as it was, and it's just amazing. Um, it's it's really allowed me to stretch my my. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to call it. It's it's really allowed me to go into a new a whole bunch of different areas to to expand my reach and to expand my reach to the stars above. I don't know, like like GFX wise with the layouts and the thumbnails, I've been able to to learn a lot and and expand through there. Um, just the commentary style, just playing through the game, just everything. Soul Silver overall has been an amazing project, and even though we're not done with Soul Silver just quite yet, I mean we only have probably five or six episodes left in the series, if that, and. Um, I don't know. You guys just asked for it, and you you just loved it. You asked for it, and you stuck around. I think a lot of people. Uh, I've seen some people like Foxstream. I know off the top of my head. Um, I can't think of anybody else. I think Foxstream was the last one that did it. There was there was a couple people that subscribed, and I saw your comments as you watched each episode. Like it would say, so and so has has left a comment on episode one, and then like 20 minutes later, so and so left a comment on episode two. So you know that's that's a really good feeling as a let's player when you have someone that subscribes to your channel and then actually wants to sit and watch every single episode of your series. Cause you know I mean I've subscribed to, to people's channels before and I, I could care less about what you posted before I came. You know sometimes that's, that's just how I am. Other times I'm not like that. But but when you actually see someone do that with your own content, it's amazing. So I'm I'm really happy with Soul Silver. I'm really happy with um, uh, how how it turned out and, and what it is. Um, my OCD I don't think is going to be happy with this one because I think we're going to have 39 episodes with it total. So I don't know. We'll see. But that's that's those are really the two main series that are coming to a close um, on the channel at the time I'm doing this video. That's really the reason I'm doing it because Black and White's done with and Soul Silver is almost done with. So I don't know. That's that's really the driving force behind this video. And if you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, like I have a whole big notepad of everything I'm gonna be talking about. So yeah, we're we're gonna, we're gonna be here for a minute. Um, but uh, after after that, um, the other big thing that we've been doing on the channels is live streaming. Some of you guys, if you miss the streams on the channel, they process to videos afterwards. So even if you don't show up for it. Even if you can't make it or whatnot, they're always going to be on the channel. That's why I live stream on YouTube. Because a lot of people are asking me, why don't you just stream on Twitch, Nappy? Well, I don't stream on Twitch because it's not on my channel. Like, I like I don't want to sit here and play through an entire game on Twitch and then, you know, like, I don't have anything to show for it on my channel. You know, I'm not trying to grow a Twitch channel. I want to grow my YouTube channel. So, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, really, the only thing I don't like about the YouTube stream is that, um... The comments update so slow. Like with Twitch, it's almost immediate. With YouTube, it's got probably like a eight to ten second delay, maybe. And um, when it updates, it'll update masses at a time. Like it'll update 20 comments at a time, and I have to sit there and scroll through them and reply to people. So outside of that, that's really the only issue. But um, you guys have been loving the live streams. We've done two complete Pokemon hack playthroughs. Or, or Pokemon ROM hacks, whatever you want to call it, playthroughs on the live streams. Um, the first one was the Team Rocket Edition, which was a Pokemon Red version hack. It allowed you to play as either Jesse or James, and Giovanni, he's, he's retiring from Team Rocket or whatever, he needs a successor, and you play through the game that way. Um, I enjoyed that game. I just wish they would have had, if they, if they would have had a better uh, region, if they would have planned it out just a little bit better, because the region was a little bit confusing. Um, and then the second one we did was Ash Gray. A lot of you guys have heard of Ash Gray. Um, a lot of you guys, I mean, you recommended it to me, so we played through it. That one actually had face cam on it, and a lot of you guys really loved that. Um, but yeah, Team Rock Edition and Ash Gray, we both finished those. Ash Gray was really good. Ash Gray, if you don't know what it is, how many times can I say Ash Gray in five seconds? Ash Gray, Ash Gray, Ash Gray. <laughs> Uh, but Ash Gray, what it is, is you just follow Ash um, and everything he does in the anime. So, like, all the events and all that stuff. Like, those events were fucking bananas. I love them. That Mewtwo Strikes Back, all that shit, that was insane. So, I, I enjoyed Ash Gray a lot. So, I want to thank you guys for recommending, recommending that to me. Um, but both of those playlists, if you missed any of those, they'll be in the description as well. So, check those out if you can. Um, people ask me all the time, how often do I live stream? Uh, for a little while there, I was streaming every day, but um, we're going to get on the schedule here soon, but I'll go over all that towards the end of the video. Um, the other streams that I had, uh, I streamed once, I streamed Dungeon Defenders. Um, some of you guys enjoy that a lot, 
Of course, Dungeon Defenders isn't Pokemon, so it didn't do as well. You know, um, not as many people came out for it, but still, a lot of you guys came out and you enjoyed it. And um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to be playing some more random games through streams and stuff like that. Like, I'd like to do a Hotline Miami stream or a, a Payday stream or something like that. Just, you know, something that's not Pokemon. Because while Pokemon in and of itself is amazing and I love the game, I've loved it ever since I was a kid, you know, every once in a while it's nice to have something new, you know, something refreshing so that you can take a break from Pokemon even if it's just for one night and then you can come back and keep going hard at Pokemon and whatnot, you know? Um, so I, I did enjoy doing the Dungeon Defenders live stream and plus besides there are people in, there are people in the Pokemon live stream that ask me what other games do you play besides Pokemon? Well, let me live stream some of them for you, you know? <laughs> Why don't you check it out, see if you enjoy it and all that stuff. So, uh, and, and I know there were a couple of you that actually said that you went out and got Dungeon Defenders after seeing my stream, which is fucking amazing, because I, I love Dungeon Defenders. I love Dungeon Defenders, okay? Uh, we, we play that shit for hours and hours. And the plus side of playing games like Dungeon Defenders is that, you know, it's co-op. Like, if, you, if any of you guys have it on PC or whatever platform I'm playing that night, you know, you're more than welcome to come join if we have space available. So, um, to that extent, I like games like that, and uh, I enjoy streaming them for you guys. You know, I, I think the biggest part of the live streams is just the interaction. You know, just the interaction with you guys, and that's why a lot of you guys come out because you know, it's not like you're leaving me a message. You know, you're asking me a question or you're participating, and you get a response right then and there. So, I think that's that's another reason that people enjoy the live stream so much. But either way, I enjoy streaming. Um, I enjoy streaming to the channel because it's processed afterwards and that's just, it's more stuff for, for people to enjoy. So, um, when it comes to live streams, they're definitely not stopping anytime soon, but um, again, they're just going to be worked into some sort of schedule that you guys will see here towards the end of the video. Um, the Pokemon Showdown videos. Now, I'm new to competitive battling. A lot of you guys know that. Um, a lot of you guys that follow me on Twitter know that as well, um, but I, I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. I, I, I enjoy competitive battling. Um, so I started doing the Pokemon Showdown videos because you guys asked me for them. I, I put up the video of my Gengar shitting all over Kristen's Gengar, and I asked you guys then if, if that's be something that you'd be interested in, and all of you said yes. And so far, the Pokemon Showdown videos have just been uploaded randomly with no sort of <laughs> will away to them, but uh, you guys enjoy them, you show them love, you give them the feedback that, that's that's wanted, so I'm going to keep going with them. I think I'm going to end up doing two a week with this new schedule that I'm going to try to put in place, but um, Pokemon Showdown, I definitely enjoy them. They're going to get better as I get better at competitive battling, as I spend some more time doing it. Of course, they're gonna get into get into the the different tiers and whatnot. And again, just like I said with the Dungeon Defenders live stream, that's just another way that uh, you guys can interact because I I would be more than happy to battle you guys on Pokemon Showdown. You know, I've actually posted some Pokemon Showdown videos with um, me versus subscribers or whatnot. So the only time that I would ever post a losing battle is if it was just a really entertaining battle. Period. You know, if I go on Pokemon Showdown and I just get sweet, I'm not going to upload that. You know, that's that's pointless. But if it's a really hard-fought battle going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, then I might think about posting that as well. So, But either way, Pokemon Showdown, you guys have been enjoying it. You're going to be showing the love, and it's going to keep coming until that love isn't there <laughs> anymore. You know, um, and that, that goes for any series, to be honest with you guys. Um, if I'm ever doing a Let's Play or whatnot, and it's just not getting... Um, any feedback, you know, people just aren't interested in it, then I'm not going to continue it. And it, it kind of, it hurts me in a sense because the last time I did it was for Hotline Miami, and I enjoy Hotline Miami, that's why I want to stream it to see if you guys would be interested in it or not. But, um, it's, it's one of those things where it's like you just got to take the loss and move on because it's like I, I put a lot of time and effort into my videos, and I don't want to put that time and effort into it if you know, it's it's not going to be reciprocated, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's kind of hard to, to explain it, but um, if a series ever just disappears off the channel, that's more than likely why. So, I don't know. Um, but moving on, moving on. My thoughts are over the place right now. That's why I want to do this and kind of center them all. But, um, top five. Now, <sighs> Thursday's top five videos. And if you guys haven't caught on to that trend yet, you know, we've been doing this for six weeks now, seven weeks now. Every Thursday is a new top five video. Um, 
This started off as me just doing one video, my top five favorite Pokemon, just because so many people ask me it all the time. And somebody left a comment saying, hey Nappy, why don't you do top fives of every type? So I was like, okay, we can do that. And hence, here's here's where this series has come. Um, I don't see top fives ending anytime soon because people have asked me to add a few more things onto it. Um, people want me to do like top five fossil type Pokemon, top five annoying Pokemon, top five types, period. You know, top five starters, top five baby Pokemon, you know. I don't, I don't see top five ending anytime soon and that's fine with me because I enjoy doing it you know I'm a person that likes to edit videos period and um, you guys fucking love top five top five is easily the most successful series on the channel right now so it's that's fucking insane that you guys love it that much and uh, we should keep it going it's just, it's just gonna keep going until we run out of things to top five <laughs> Um, but that will be every Thursday. That's one thing that's not going to change. Even with the new schedule, that will be every Thursday. So just just expect the top fives to keep coming. So um, uh, outside of that, outside of Pokemon, the only other things that we've had on the channel since the last update video have been Bioshock Infinite and Country Craft. Now, I said to myself um, before... I really went hard at this channel. The whole reason I made this channel was to be a Let's Play channel. Not to be a Pokemon channel, not to just be a channel of one type. And there was a subscriber that I've had for a very long time. I don't remember your last name, dude, but I believe your first name was like Walid or something like that. Um, I think your name was like Walid Alwabi or something. I, if I if I butchered that, I apologize. But uh, I recognize you if I, if I saw your comment. He's been he's been subscribed since Pokemon Sapphire. That much I do know. And um, he reminded me of that after a while because you know I was going hard with Pokemon. And the channel was growing and whatnot. Um, and he was like, Nappy, I thought you said you didn't want it to be just one one um, one branded channel. And it's true. It's true, but the the thing about that is I'm not gonna let's play a game just to let's play. You know, I wanna let's play a game that one I'm interested in, and number two, you know, like like I just explained a couple minutes ago, it's gotta have some sort of reception to it. Um So to that extent, the last game that I wanted to play that had any sort of decent reception was Bioshock Infinite. That was it. So until another game comes along that I'm really want to invest some time and effort into that's I mean Pokemon is just gonna be it Pokemon and Minecraft because that's what I enjoy playing the most so um, Bioshock Infinite that was a let's play that I did very very fast a lot of you guys might not have actually seen it because I uploaded like three four episodes a day and finished it within like a week so I don't, I don't know I don't think I'll ever do a let's play like that again because I don't think that it got the reception that it should have but at the same time I'm I'm happy that I got it done I'm happy that I produced it because in my opinion <laughs> you know I think it's one of the better Bioshock let's plays on YouTube so if you missed that and you're interested in it at all the, the link will definitely be in the description as well you can check that out um, country craft um, I think Pokemon and Minecraft will be the two things that will always be on the channel no matter what you know um, other games will come and go like Bioshock, Dungeon Defenders, whatever. But Pokemon and Minecraft, I think, will always have some sort of play on the channel. Now, the whole idea behind Country Craft, um, Country Craft is Big Country, my boy Big Country. Some of you might know him. If not, you'll get to know him over the next couple weeks, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, that was his server he played on. That was uh, that was his brainchild. That was his baby. He wanted to get all that done. And we had a bunch of people on the server. And um, I asked him if I could join, and he said, sure. And originally, I was going to do 10 episodes. It was going to be 10 weeks because Country Craft um, was uploaded once a week. So instead of just doing a 30-minute episode, I would do hour-long episodes to be uploaded uh, 10 over the course of 10 weeks, 10 episodes, and that would be season one. And eventually, we'd come back and do season two and all that stuff. And that whole come back to season two thing is still, you know, a viable option. But season one was cut short. It was cut in half. I did five episodes. Um, if you want to check those out, those will be down below as well. Um, but the reason I did the five episodes was just because we're getting ready to start up a new series. Because that's where, that's, see, I'm, I'm telling you guys all this backwards. That's where Country Craft came from. Because the last series that Country and I did was Land of the Lost War. And that ended, and then Country moved. 
and he didn't know when he'd have all his stuff set up again so in the meantime I said okay let me do country craft and whenever you come back and you're ready to go and record another series you know country craft will be done so the idea was to give enough time to allow him to get all set up and everything uh, and for us to record and then when, whenever the, the country craft is done we'll be ready to pick up with a new series well he moved and was ready to record within like four days so <laughs> Uh, Country Crab was definitely a project that was overshot by a long shot. So uh, I recorded those five episodes and I rented them out and we just posted them. And I said, "All right, let's let's be done with this so that uh, we can start recording another series and be ready to go for that." So Bioshock Infinite and Country Craft, I think, are the only two things, and besides Pokemon Showdown and the live streams that are new uh, that we haven't that we didn't talk about in the previous um, update video. So yeah. Like I said, uh, everything so far, everything that's in the video up here will be in the description for you guys to check out uh, if you so choose to. But anyways, um, outside of all that crap, that's everything that we're doing right now. That's everything that we've done. Where are we going to go from here? Now, the live streams are still going to be here. Showdown's still going to be here. Soul Silver's wrapping up within the next week or two. Black and White 2 is going to be on Kristen's channel. Um, on my own channel, we need stuff to replace what's going away. When it comes to Minecraft, um, Country and I and my boy Twit, some of you guys might know him as well, we've actually started recording another project that's going to go up. It starts on the 1st. When's the 1st? That is this Saturday. That's like six days or something from now. Uh, this Saturday, it's going to start. It will be called Minecraft Ink Star. Um, when I do Minecraft series, Country Craft was the first traditional vanilla Minecraft series that I've done. When I play Minecraft, it's very, very hard for me to just be into a traditional vanilla Minecraft setting. I have to have some objective, some point to me being there. So I like to do adventure maps, um, or adventure or survival, whatever. That's why Country and I did Stratosphere Survival originally, and then we did Land of Lost Wool, which was an adventure map. And now we're doing Ink Star. Um, this time, though, like I said, Twit's coming along with us, and the best way that I can describe Inkstar to you guys is Skyrim meets Minecraft. So, I, I, I fucking love it. I enjoy playing it. I enjoy putting it up. Um, so, I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I'm hoping that it goes well, um, because it should be another, you know, 30, 40 episode type series. Um, but that'll be uploaded twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays, like Land of Lost World was. Um, so if you guys enjoy it, which I hope you do, you'll get it twice a week and all that good shit. I think all three of us together are fucking hilarious, so I think you guys are really going to love it. Um, outside of that, that that's what Minecraft's going to be on the channel um, for, the, for the next projects. And then we got to replace Soul Silver. Now, here comes the interesting part. Because I originally had one project planned. Because what I wanted to do was get a game from every generation done before X and Y comes out. That's not going to happen. Um, the only two generations that we have left are first gen and fourth gen. Now, I had a, an idea for first gen ready to go. I'm not going to tell you what it is because we're not going to go with that. <laughs> um, so I don't want to spoil it in any way. Um, the game for fourth gen... Um, let me, let me think about how I want to go over this. Originally, I had the idea for the first gen game. And then I ran into my boy Hoodlum Scrafty. Um, and I saw he was doing the Platinum Egglock. And I thought, whoa, this is fucking interesting. This is amazing. You know, I've never seen anything like this before. You know, again, that interaction is there where, where his subscribers send him the eggs. They literally send him and name him the Pokemon that he's going to use. And then it has that, that challenge of the Nuzlocke in it as well. So it's just got a whole bunch of different aspects all put into one series. So um, I said after a couple episodes of watching him, I want to do an Egglock too. And that's when I put my first gen project to the side and thought, you know what? I'm going to do a Platinum Egglock. So that's what I decided I was going to do. And then magically out of the blue, after he finished his Platinum Egglock, 400,000 other people on YouTube all started a Platinum Egglock. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I think I've seen, like, maybe one person do, like, a, a Blaze Black Egglock or something like that. But then outside of that, literally everybody else has done a Platinum Egglock, Platinum Egglock, Platinum Egglock. 
Now, I don't know if it's because, like, Platinum version specifically needs to, is, like, the best way to do an egg lock or something, or if it's just because he did it. Um, but for whatever reason, I'm seeing egg locks pop up all over the place. And everyone's doing Platinum version. Now, for myself, I'm going to be doing a Platinum egg lock. Yes. I tossed the idea around a little bit. It's like, do I still want to do a Platinum egg lock? Since everyone else is doing one, I don't know if I want to or not. But then I decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, I'm stuck doing a Platinum Egg Lock. I don't want to say I'm stuck doing a Platinum Egg Lock. I'm doing a Platinum Egg Lock because, like I said, I have an idea for a first gen. And I can't do an Egg Lock in first gen anyway. Um, and I already have a plan for Diamond and Pearl. So I can't do Diamond and Pearl Egg Locks either. So... You know, we've already done 5th gen, we've already done a 3rd gen game, we're just getting done with Soul Silver, and even though Soul Silver technically is 4th gen, it's a 2nd gen remake, so the story will be the same. So, um, Platinum Meg Lock it is. So that's what's going to be replacing uh, Soul Silver once Soul Silver wraps up. I'm going to do a video asking you guys to send in eggs and whatnot. Uh, I'll probably have you guys add me on Skype to send me the eggs and all that stuff. I'll put up a video detailing how to create the egg and what files you need to send me and how we can do all that crap. Um, but Platinum Egg Lock is what's going to be replacing Soul Silver on the channel. So, the two big series that we're going to get into um, next are going to be Platinum Egg Lock, Minecraft Ink Star, Showdown is still going to be here, um, Top 5 is still going to be here, and the live streams are still going to be here as well. So, with all that being said, we're 25, 26 minutes into the video now. This is the biggest update we've had so far. Um, the schedule for the next couple of months, this is probably what the schedule is going to be probably until X and Y comes out because that's what I'm guessing how long well I don't know I don't know June, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September maybe maybe because the uh, uh, black and white took about four months soul silver took about three and a half four months or so so if, if uh, platinum takes about as long as these have then we should finish right before a week or two or, or three before um, X and Y comes out so what we're going to end up doing probably is the schedule is going to be this. You should see it on your screen right now. Ah, amazing, right? I know. Um, Sundays, what I want to do is I want to have a showdown video go up. I don't want to necessarily dedicate an entire day to just showdown. So on Sundays as well is going to be a live stream. Boom, live stream. Ah, I know, right? Um, Mondays is going to be Platinum Egg Lock. Um, this schedule should stay unless some craziness comes along and just throws it all out of, out of whack. Um, but Sunday's showdown and a stream that night, um, Monday's gonna be an egg lock video, egg lock episode. Tuesday is going to be Inkstar. Like I said, Tuesdays, um, Inkstar's gonna be Tuesdays and Saturdays, so, um, Tuesday will be Inkstar. Wednesday's gonna be another episode of Platinum Egg Lock. Amazing, I know. Platinum Egg Lock. And then that night we'll have another stream. Now that stream is going to be. I want to. I want to do a stream out of the three streams that I'm going to do, be doing a week. I just spoiled it for you guys. I know this. This schedule shit I got going on here is blows your mind. I know, right? Um, spoiler alert! I'm going to be doing three streams a week, but I want one of them to be designated for something other than Pokemon. So like whether it's Dungeon Defenders, Hotline Miami, whatever. I want one day a week. That we stream to be dedicated to something else and that's what wednesday nights are going to be thursday is going to be top five as normal and then thursday night you're going to get a second showdown video for that week then friday is going to be uh, another episode of platinum egg lock so there's going to be three episodes of platinum egg lock a week um two episodes of showdown and then friday i mean we just did friday shit saturday is going to be ink star as well so that's what the the tentative schedule is going to be for um, the next couple months, hopefully, as long as nothing goes wrong, um, that's what it'll be. So Saturday and Sunday nights should be like a Pokemon Let's Play or whatever we're gonna be doing, and then Wednesday night stream is gonna be something random. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Egg Lock. Tuesday, Saturday, Ink Star, and then Friday is Top Five. If you guys can't remember this, or for whatever reason, you know, you just you just don't remember, um, it's always gonna be on my on the banner on my channel, on the right hand side of the banner. It will always say current upload schedule and it will tell you everything that's happening throughout the week and what to expect. So, with that being said, I think we're done here. A 30 minute update video. God damn! 
Lord Jesus, that's the, that's the longest one to date, I'll tell you that much. I hope you enjoyed listening to my voice and looking at my pretty face and all that shit. Um, but, but yeah, I think that's, that'll be about it. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for just for everything, period. If you watched it this far and you're, you're that interested in what's going to be happening, uh, over the next couple months, that just that just that means so much to me that you're that you're that invested in the channel, um, and yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Let me know what you guys think of uh, the schedule and the channel and all that shit uh, down in the comments below. Hit that like for wow, I can't even talk. Shit, I need to end this. Hit that like button for me if you haven't already. And as always, people, thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube Nap192. I'm out. <laughs>